Ah, what can I say? I'm sitting here, nice and grounded. Um, yeah, this has been a long journey, but it's been worth it in the end, I suppose. Yeah, of course it's worth it. Not I suppose, it is worth it. It is. It definitely is. Um, and also, the lesson that I had to learn that took me like lifetimes and lifetimes and lifetimes to learn. Finally, I've learned. You know, not only have I learned, I've done what I needed to do to uh, adjust and basically step into who I was supposed to be. And that in itself is the best blessing you can ever have. To actually, hmm, to actually have it confirmed by God himself that no, my child, you are not crazy. All the things you were seeing, you were seeing. All the things you were feeling, you were spot on. Spot on, like my psyche and my intuition is spot on. I feel people's energy. So I know when it's some BS, you know what I mean? But I just act like I don't. Do you understand me? Because from it, from it has no bearing on me or it has no effect on me, then do you in it, do you know what I mean? But I know what I need to know. So better move accordingly where that person or that individual is concerned. And that's something that people don't really like, but it is what it is. I cannot help how I was created. You better take that out with God, do you understand? So even the fact of people believing that they can steal your gifts, that's just madness, you know? Did it ever occur to you, like, if you do what you're supposed to do, stay obedient, do you understand? Um, put all the things in place that you were told to, and basically God said free will, and he said make a choice, innit? So it's up to you if you choose to make that choice and reject his call to you, or you can take him upon that offer. Let me tell you, I jumped at the chance. Don't get it twisted. I didn't know what I set myself in for, but let me tell you, I jumped at the chance. And it's literally like, it just felt like I just knew I, this is me all my life, if that makes any sense. But I didn't realize it at the time. Like, this is the shit that was um, blocked for me and, and, kept from me with spell work and black magic and all that kind of bullshit, do you know what I mean? And then all the, all the satanic, should I say, satanic symptoms that come with that, you know? Depression, low self-esteem, low self-worth, uh, what's the other one? Um, codependency, alcoholism, drug addiction, you know? self-sabotage, procrastination, fearfulness, all those are just acts that the devil is still in us to keep us blinded and keep us controlled. And this is the shit we've got to break free from. I was able to break free from it by the grace of God, just in the nick of time. Because unbeknownst to me, there is a lot of people from my past, even my own family members, well actually it started from my own family members, should I say, let's, have, let's be clear on that one, yeah, that um, they want to be dead for such a long time, like they never wanted me to live, they never expected me to get from any things that I got through, and I don't know how I did either, yeah, but let me tell you, it's like every time I did, I barely got a break. Or there was something else and something else so now I know and now I know now that was purely a test of God to see if I was gonna stay stay steadfast in my conviction or if I was gonna fold and go with the opposition and I chose not to fold or go with the opposition I chose to fight for my beliefs fight for my faith and also fight to fight to um, fight to also uh, inform other people of the situation so that they can better protect themselves and they can make an informed decision or they can be prepared for what is next to come. Do you know what I mean? And I told everybody from the COVID, uh, COVID that was just a whole lot of bullshit. 
And I don't know how I knew this shit. I just gave this came off the top of my head, do you know what I mean? And I just told people, and everybody's like, oh, you're crazy, just that and that. how do you know? And <laughs> there, lies the, there lies the question, how the fuck did I know? I have no idea, but it seems like I was getting downloads from my ancestors all along. You know, I just didn't tune in, you know? Yeah, and also I was being distracted by some demonic dark forces that I was not aware of. That's why they had such power over me, because I was not aware of it. And the minute I became aware of what was going on, I was able to maneuver myself accordingly to protect myself, first of all, protect my energy, number one, and number two, stop these motherfuckers in their tracks. Let me tell you, like, if I told you I had to slay a free-headed demon, you probably wouldn't believe me, but I, I did. And to be quite honest, yeah, I'm not going to lie, I wasn't scared. If anything, I was more nervous, do you know what I mean? Because... Not saying I didn't have faith. I had faith, of course I did. But I didn't know how, how this, how this free of the demon, like how he maneuvers, like or how he was gonna try and come attack me, how he was gonna try and take me down. I needed to know all these things, and no one gave me the information. It was just the case of I had to. I was given the warning. That's how things work. I was given the warning, it was up to me to do the research and find out how to defend myself against this entity. And when I found out what it does as an attachment, oh, no, 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 no. I was like, oh, hell no, because at the end of the day, yeah, I broke my generational curses, like, literally, and that's not, that's shit. I'm the first one of my own generation. So I'm kind of glad for that, do you know what I mean? Um. Yeah, it's hurtful what like, my family have done, that's, yeah, do you know what I mean? But it is what it is, and I'm not going to let that stop me or hold me back, do you know what I mean? At least now I know everything I was thinking and feeling, I was spot on. And it was just bare feet lying in my face the whole time. And which is why now, which is why now, not one of these people can look me in the face or even approach me or even say boo to me. You know, the most they do is they see my message and just totally, they read the message. So I can see that they've seen it, do you know what I mean? But they're just totally ignoring me, you know? I remember these are people that act like they've done everything wrong. Like they ain't done nothing, do you understand? But the scoundrel for me, yes, that's the, that's so the point blank period of it. When I, was, when I was down and out or when I was being like heavily spiritually attacked, I didn't know what the fuck was going on, do you know what I mean? I was weak. These are people that I actually reached out to as my family. You know what I mean? Not for nothing major. I must have asked them once or twice for like even like a couple of households to eat, even like a bottle of water. And two of these motherfuckers told me no. Yeah, my own cousin. Yes, you did, Gus. I, mean, I will never forget you done that. I'm not forgiving you, but that alone, you know, you used to come to my house and eat food all the time. When have you ever let me money in your whole life? Never. You understand me? But how many times did you ask me to borrow my money? You have the audacity to have that type of conscience so yeah i hope karma and i hope our ancestors are, are scraping your ass cheeks i'm telling you you understand me i hope they're running your 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 your, your, your sleep ragged i hope you don't get any sleep just because that's no more than what you deserve you know yeah hating on me for what out of jealousy and spite and enviousness and then you want to rob me out of greed you're disgusting you're absolutely, but I'm disgusted that I that you actually might. In fact, you're not even related to me, apparently. So I was adopted, so that's even better, you know. Because to have your people's bloodline is a total embarrassment. You people are a complete karmic curse, and I'm so glad. I'm so glad I woke up when I did. I'm so glad. I'm so glad God favored me. I'm so glad He is not me. I'm so glad He's done all the things He has done for me. And is actually going to silence my enemies and sit me at his table in front of thy enemies. Watch and see. The first shall be last and the last shall be first. You know? And then to even know how you orchestrated my whole life. Now that took some healing because I literally wanted to just like go ballistic. Like how dare you people like think you can make my choices for me. Like who the hell do you think you are? Come to find out you're the people, the same things you accuse me of, that is your you people's actual lifestyle. You understand me? You people got me illegally investigated, knowing full well you was involved in all kinds of criminal activity. Now that in itself I will say the fact that I even know you 
as someone who used to be my family member, I'm embarrassed. You know, your behaviour and your conduct is embarrassing. Even the fact of what you've done to me and tried to silence me, you know, it's disgusting. So no, don't reach out to me. I don't need no apologies. I already forgave you ages ago. That's what you don't realise. You think I do I know everything. You knew exactly who I was when I was a child. That's why you did the things you did to me, you know? You was hoping that shit would destroy me. And I'm not gonna lie, it almost did, but it didn't. You know what I mean? There's a reason why I had to go through these things I had to go through, to toughen me up for what was yet to come, let on down the line. Now I found out, and I'm glad. Because now I have a better understanding of my purpose, my destiny, I embrace it. I embrace God for her open heartedly. Absolutely. I swear to myself to God. He said, make a choice. I swear to my battles to the Lord. I don't let something that, something that um, distract me from what I'm supposed to be doing. Do you know what I mean? Mm -mm. And look at my life, you know? I'm manifesting at such a high rate. I'm ascending all the time. That shit is a bit painful. I'm not going to lie. It's quite uncomfortable. It's a bit painful. But. When you come at the other end, it's worth it. Like I think God put me in like a lot of tara because um, you need to clean up some, you need to clear up a few loose ends, so they say. You know, I don't mind that because at the end of the day, I know where I'm going, so and I'm happy with that. You know, I'm looking forward to meeting my soul tribe. I'm looking forward to the next chapter of my life. Uh, I'm sitting on this fucking um, oops. I know I swear I'm sitting on this piece of wood, right? And the position I'm sat in wasn't really comfortable, so yeah, that's better. Oh. But yeah, um, I'm kind of glad I did, so you know. If I didn't, I won't be here now. So I take that as like confirmation that I'm on the right path. And also that I should be proud of myself. Oh my god, this is such a happy place. Yeah. So now. After, that's something I have to do. You know, sometimes when you push me doing something, like, you kind of, not say you forget, but it kind of, it kind of just, that's what I mean. It's like, I know it's, I know it sounds crazy. Like, when you start vibrating really, really high, you just attract everything. And yeah, it's nice, but I'm not going to lie. Like, I just got a thing for insects, you know? I can't help it. <laughs> I'm so sorry Lord, I can't help it. Yeah, and I just, certain things I just can't take, like ants, I can't do it, man. When, when I start to see loads of them, it literally makes my skin cool. I start to itch, come up in hives. It's like it just does something else to me. Do you know what I mean? I'm bees on wasps purely because I believe uh, I'm allergic to them because the last time I was stung, um, I think the sting got in my eye. And it literally looked like I'd been 10 rounds with Mike Tyson. It was no joke. I had to go to hospital. You know, unless it was some type of mutated wasp that was infected with some type of disease trying to take me out when I think about what I've uncovered as I've gotten older. Yeah, I won't put them past these people to be honest. So, yeah, other than that, guys, I'm loving it, loving my life. Waiting to meet my soul tribe, and the uh, main thing of all is waiting to get out of here. Yeah, I cannot stand. Is that it's never felt like home and now I understand why because this was never my home in the first place so I can't wait to be around the people I'm supposed to be around I can't wait to find my proper family like my real family not these adoptive demonic warlock witch coven you know evil family that have just abused and molested me my whole life and siphoned my energy you know what I mean and sick pimped me out and all the rest of that horrific stuff but guess what it's making who I am and I'm thankful for that you know so if I can overcome that I can do anything nothing can stop me so yeah just take that just take positiveness from it and always stay positive don't let, don't let none of these fuckers get you down I swear to you because that's what they want they thrive off of seeing you unhappy miserable or just looking down the side so even if I am feeling like shit inside I will still put the biggest smile on my face. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I don't give a fuck. You know, they can kiss my ass. Don't let them take your shine. Never dim your light for nobody. 
You understand? So yeah, other than that, it's a nice piece of um, advice. So yeah, I'm gonna put my shoes back on now. I'm going and feed my little friend. I like to feed the pigeons and the seagulls. So yeah, I've not been here for a few days. So I thought I'd come down today. You know, come down today. So yeah, I'm gonna go and do that. Then I'm gonna drop this lot home and then go to my little secret spot. I have a secret spot, yes I do, yes I do. So yeah, anyway guys, have a good day and I will speak to you soon.